Yeah. I've seen a lot of girls saying, if my nigga's not acting like Kanye, I don't want yep. it. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you saying a lot of girls love Kanye. <coughs> no, I'm talking about like, you, you, you know, the like whole that. like him, whole Kim situation. Yeah, the way he's like. like. Yeah, people, people are so quick to blame Kim. I mean, to blame Kanye, but niggas are forgetting this is Kim's third failed marriage. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How does this nigga switch like this? <laughs> You are now listening to The Black of the Berry The Sweet of the Juice Most record I made <laughs> Your name now You just say your name Oh my god And then you say I'm sure You're just You're like You want the best of three worlds <laughs> You're scary, but now I understand why the girls are running away. Right? <laughs> yeah. Cause all this time I've been thinking girls are crazy. Now it makes sense. Keyshawn. Yeah, what? <laughs> 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 it was Bob Rossi, man. It's so nice. It is. What's going on? Going on. Is it I, honestly, what is is it planned? What's all black? Oh, nah, bro. No way. Are you sure? Nah. Mm. Where's your black? It's easy color, you know? Huh? Where's your black? My black? Yeah. It's my skin, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well. Marcus, you're not joining? Hmm? I mean, no, no. If, you, if you feel like saying, just <laughs> feel free. Speak out. Okay. Speak out. Uh, anyways, Ooh. yeah, welcome to another special show today. Man, I'm kind of uh, nervous. Nervous of what? I don't know. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we like, uh, hey, what's up, everybody? Like, can we start off? Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Go hey, on. welcome to another special episode today. I'm your host, DX. Sure in the cup, man. Sure. Mr. Mr. Michael Jackson in the building. Yeah. <laughs> Got a special guest today. You'd like to introduce yourself? Hey, y'all. My name's Shamino. I don't know why I said hey, y'all. Hi, what's up? I'm Shamino. What do you do? And what do I do? Well, what do I do? I do YouTube. Subscribe to my channel at Shamino. You know, you guys are nervous. It's not just YouTube. You do, you do quite a lot, don't you? Mm-hmm. Do I? Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start out. I have my own business um, by Shamino. Go on Instagram. Sell do rags, sunglasses, anything you need. Um, tracksuits coming up soon. You guys are gonna model, you get ready to model. You know, <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah into, into the show now. Uh, into our beautiful show. Because you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we didn't even finish the intro. Oh. But yeah, anyways, yeah, so after all of that, at least you've learned a little bit more about No Money But Dreams. Now on to Black Berry, where anything can happen. <laughs> and with Keyshawn's building, anything can happen. I don't know which Keyshawn's in today. I'm Honestly, I don't, with Keyshawn, I don't either. But uh, yeah, if you say anything that rustles you, gets you cracking up, or even emotional, I'm sorry, but the Black Berry. Sweet of the juice. Okay. How was your day, guys? <laughs> sure, why don't you start? What? Um, Do you know why I always ask that question? It's, it's an important question to ask. Because there's sometimes where he's someone speaking. might be going through something and not actually say anything. Someone can what? Say it again? Sorry. Go through something and not actually say anything. So oh. I kind of I make it a thing to always ask. It might be passive, but one day, if it, it just gives that incentive to speak up. You know, mm. this is directed at MJ over there because Mr. I don't cry in front of anyone. Oh One day we'll be here to, we'll be the shoulders <laughs> to cry on. Get me. Love but yeah, it. how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Yeah, chilling. Um, just start, I started working out again, like really recently. Yeah. Shout, yeah, shout out to my boys, man. Like, what are you listening to? 20kg? <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, I have really bad knees, right? I don't uh-huh. know how, I don't know uh-huh. when, but like my knees are really bad. Maybe a generic thing, but I definitely have to get sort get that sorted out so I can't do like anything too heavy when it comes to like legs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um like in high school was fine, but I don't know, like once I like started hitting like once I hit like twenty like twenty one, then it like really got bad. Right. Yeah. So 
Like, um, <sighs> but yeah, like other than that, like I started working to get out again. I'm, I think I'm a week and a half out. Like after I stopped completely, like when I came out from the U.S. Are you on your own? No, no. What do you mean? As in, who do you work out with? Oh, my boys. So that's yeah? what I was gonna get into. Yeah, like um, I need to have a session with you guys. I need to see what you guys. Do. <laughs> I want to see what you do, bro. I well, like I do. You do some crazy shit. <laughs> I mean, it's normal to me, but apparently, apparently, it's crazy. You guys don't work out for up, bro. Do you just like? Do you know what to do when you go to the gym, or you ju- do you just walk around and do whatever? Um, nah, nah, definitely like no. I, like some people like dead ass don't know what to do, so they like oh, yeah, go to every machine that? and yeah. like oh, do every. Vice an athlete, are you gonna take that? Um, oh, you're an athlete. Yeah, somewhere, oh. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know. Sorry. Ranked, ranked in Canada. I stay humble. I stay humble. <laughs> but um, usually like um, I I did like a lot of research before I like actually started, and but like other than that, I usually have like a program on my phone. Mm-hmm. It's like a bulking program and I just kind of go off of that um, if I'm working out with like my friends who are like athletes like university athletes they usually just like like if I can I can go off of my like like schedule like which is on my phone or they usually just they already know what I to do because they already have like they already know like for, for like example on Sunday for example on Sunday um, I worked out with Isaac and Victor and like I was gonna do my own workout, but then he just told me like, "Yo, do this workout for legs." Just then, I just did it, right? So I was like, "All right, cool." <laughs> and he just know what to. He just he was yeah. like, "Yo, do this, do this next, do this next." So that kind of thing. I don't think there's a point in going to the gym with no like if you have no um if you don't have like a if you're not trying to like yeah like if you're not trying to get a specific body part like yeah. I yeah. have seen those people like you they'll go they'll crank you know like they'll, they'll start doing like set. lunges and I'm like what's going on here but hey teach them. But even those girls that'll be sitting in the mirror taking pictures 30 hours I mean 30 minutes come back oh, no girl. gains after three months. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, no. Don't attack no, the girl. No, 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 let me see. <laughs> no. Uh-huh. <laughs> Or even those ones that you see on the Snapchat in, in the gym, mm-hmm. next snap is a heavy plate. This guy, he's always picking on girls. You know, I seen I seen <laughs> someone on Isaac, TikTok. See, don't let me flog you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me flog you. Let them live, man. <laughs> oh, we've got we've got the advocate, the woman <laughs> advocate today. The Keyshawn, the woman advocate. That's what we've got today, yeah? Huh? No, what about the niggas that go to the gym that are already big so they just walk around and not do shit? Like they walk around Big as in how big stomach? Nah, <laughs> they walk around like this, you know, like tax out, da, 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 walk around, this get girls' numbers and all this that. Is, this one's a deviance. This one's a deviance. Stay in and drink, Gary, please. <laughs> now, what about all the girls that will be wearing leggings just for the sake of putting oh, it girls up? again? Let they'll them be doing, show their they'll, they'll, be, they'll be doing shoulders and they'll be shaking the nash, bro. Loudly, bro. Loudly, loudly. Loud them, loud loud them, loud them. You'll be watching all of them, huh? <laughs> wow. you, you be paying attention. Wow. Hey, 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 hey. My, my shoulder press. I've seen Yash. Bro, that's. Yeah, it's not my fault. He's got eyes in the back of his head. God gave me uh. eyes to see. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, I, th- I don't do much in the gym. How was your day? Like, Mine? Mm-hmm. I was right. I was right. Just cutting hair, bro. Cutting mm-hmm. hair. No, uh. Rich. No, what made no, you get into that? Cutting hair? Yeah. I cut my own. Okay. So yeah, I was forced into cut my own hair, and then <coughs> I came here and I was like, I might as well make money from it. So uh. it's literally just a hobby. Is it? It's, yeah, I'm blessing people's lives. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro, do you, have you seen Shory after the haircut? <laughs> have you yeah. seen how Snapchat you, sees Shory? Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's um. magical. What I do with my hands is magical. So you know, I I've just recognized that and it's. it's it's nice to, it's nice to make someone happy. Do you get what I'm saying? Like further along yeah. the line, I want to do what um, there's this guy Vic blends. I want to do what he does. He mm. does like, uh, obviously his content, but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen it. He records the uh, the conversation that he has where he's cutting someone's hair, right? Yeah, but not even just someone, just a random person on the yeah, street. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I, like I want to do cool. that. But then before I get there, I need someone that is willing to just come um, with me and you know record. record shit. Yeah. So yeah, I, I actually really want to do that just because personally for me, it's not about the money. I mean, I need to pay my bills, but it's not about the money. But yeah, you know, that that reaction after, yeah, yeah, oh I like that. God, it's it's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. The smile, bro. I'll tell you, it's it's incredible. Like you, it's it's. I don't know. A lot of people, you, a lot of people miss out on these small things in life. Like making someone smile is not an easy job, you know. So once you're able to do it, that's that's something that I actually value. You know, I actually value all these. There's little things, 
Just live. I told you, I'm a lover. I'm a lover boy, bro. It's not just love to it. Right. Lover boys, nation. Uh-uh. No cap. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, uh, there, but yeah, I I love love I love the idea of just making someone feel good. No cap, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. When was the last time you made feel someone feel good? Oh I, God, today. Mm. I'm not asking <laughs> any <laughs> further questions. <laughs> I'm not asking any further questions, bro. Okay. Uh, <sighs> well, yeah. Um, topics. Nobody's gonna ask me how my day was. How was your day? We, uh, we you asked you since. Thank you. We I'll asked you asked Charade and we asked you. I was waiting for you to ask me, but okay, <laughs> okay. How was it? How was it there? Well, it was pretty good. I recently started training my young protege, Charade. <laughs> He's doing pretty well. By the end of the summer, I'm, I'm having pretty beefy, you know. <laughs> I've been looking good. Uh, but yeah, not too much. Just worked. Uh, then I worked out uh, later on. Yes, yeah, so not too much. Back to you, Docs. <laughs> Look at this guy, like Back a presenter. You. I don't know who Isaac's fans are. They're coming out of the woodwork like cockroaches. The other day, I saw in the comments, oh, Isaac's a great interview. I said, okay, yeah, what? I Is this one of your burner accounts? I'm not going to lie. I swear I thought it was you. <laughs> 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 it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Are you sure? I thought it was you. Which fans? Probably one of his guys. How much did you pay them? I told him, go home, go home. I don't know. 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 I Mm-hmm. My day was good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just had a real long day. I just studied, you know, talked to some people, and some people. Yeah, now yeah. I'm here. Huh? Huh? He's the he's the some people. Uh uh-uh, please don't. We can't tell your story. We can't tell your story. I can't tell my story out here. Are Child. you dumb? What a shit! You protected. All I have to say. I can't even say that. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. two pack. That's good. All I had to say is niggas ain't shit. Oh yeah. god, no cap. <laughs> I can attest to that. He knows. Our queens are up right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <sighs> but you guys already knew that, so you know nothing. Yeah, nothing no to me, so. Why is that? Huh? Why is that? <laughs> you guys actually can't talk about it. You actually can't talk. Um, because. They just like they just aren't. So when you say niggas, are you talking about just like black niggas, or are you just talking about like? See, 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 guys, guys, are you seeing? Are you seeing? He's already against you, black people. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? He's already against us. Just Listen, black no, skin. Look, are you, you seeing the hate? Are you seeing just because I'm mixed doesn't mean I have to <clears> choose <throat> a side. I love mixed everyone. With what? I'm mixed with everything: Spanish, white, mainly mm. white. You know, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm everything, bro. Don't kill me. <laughs> 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 you know, that made me white. Like, how about you know, the black languages? What how about speak? the black girls? Well, I, 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 are we talking about girls? Yeah. I, I was talking about myself, but I love my black girls. <laughs> I preferably only go for black girls. But nice. That's nice. a story for another day. Back to you, buddy. Oh, yeah. I was just going to ask, like, you don't have to, like, be specific, but, like, in a general sense, how are they? Niggas? Like, what do they do that are so that's so shitty? I think some people are just not... Um, they're just not clear with their intentions. Like, mm. niggas will go into talking to a girl and, like, sell them this dream, you know? Oh, and <laughs> yep. they'll, sell, they'll sell. And, you know, sometimes it's convincing. I'm not even going to lie. You know, sometimes you sit back and you're like, okay, like, this nigga's putting in the work. Uh, 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 uh. Do you ever feel like sometimes you know they're capping to you, but you just want to believe You them? just want to, honestly, yes. Like, sometimes you just want to, you want to be with someone, you want to be around someone all the mm. time, you want to be, mm. you know, you want to be loved it's on. me too, I'm very naive. The girls that lie to me, sell me dreams. I, like, please, I just want love. I'm confused. Isaac, you know, we've recorded like 40 why, why, why episodes. Is nobody, why is nobody being sympathetic with me? We've recorded like 40 where, where, episodes. Where's my empathy? God. This is not the first episode that where you can fall. Is this all? Oh, oh, there's Keyshawn and That's Isaac. Which one is this? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? There's Keyshawn and there's Isaac. There's Which Keyshawn. one is this? See, both are lover boys. But Keyshawn has a little edge to him. That's what it is. That's well, the only difference. <laughs> <laughs> Back Man. to you. So who do we have today then? Huh? Who do we have today? That's Keyshawn. You know what it is, bro. I, I introduced myself as Keyshawn. You know what it is. <laughs> What's up, man? This nigga's not serious. Yeah, I didn't know what this guy's doing. Oh, you forgot your balaclava the other day. My what? Oh, my mask. Yeah, I don't know what you guys call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I was actually looking for it. Apparently, I'm. I'm no, 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 no. Somebody else, somebody else man. UK, somebody bro. said it like that too. What UK, that? bro. Hey, UK, bro. Yeah. In it. <laughs> We're coming for you. Like, <laughs> um, yeah. Is that all you have to say? Um, yeah, this is this is this is your time to shine. Yeah, well, I really can't be. I can't. I can't, I can't. Let them know. I'll talk all the shit I can, but you know I can't. So uh, that's all I gotta say. Um, let me ask you a question, actually. Sure. So, have you ever met a girl mm-hmm. that has led you on? <laughs> uh, yes. No, I, it, I, it's not coming to my memory right now. Like I can't. Yeah, yeah, I'm not thinking. Yeah. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I actually can't think of a specific person. No, okay. But I'm sure it's happened. You're like, sure it's up, happened. Up, like, what makes up, you so sure of it if you can't remember it? Like I can't. I'm. I just like. Like I'm having a brain fart right now. Like I can't think of the specific yeah. like situation. But I'm sure it's happened at some point. Um, that. I was interested in a girl more than she was interested in me. And then she <laughs> let me on, and then mm. it didn't end up going anywhere. Have you ever have you ever had a girl that was all over you, and you just weren't like you know you weren't feeling it, and then all of a sudden like okay you're like hey maybe yeah, story of his life maybe sure. the shorties you know maybe the shorty <laughs> yeah, yeah, this could be girls something sure 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 no. <laughs> the projecting is shoot, shoot, shoot. the projecting is crazy right now. Go ahead. The projection is crazy. <laughs> um, and then all of a sudden, whatever, she cuts you off. As soon as you're like, you show interest, like, that's it. Like, they cut you off. Has that ever happened to you? Um. <sighs> and if so, what have you learned from it going on, moving on to your next relationship? Like, what would you take from that situation? Hmm. I would say yes. And, uh, I don't know. I guess... What I would take from the situation is just be more conscious of like yourself and be more conscious of like the like the people around you, right? Because, um, for example, if you know, if well, if mentalities are different, then it's just it it just never works, right? Like for example, one person is emotionally invested, the other person is emotionally detached, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. Um, and then what usually ends up happening is. Uh, you know, you fuck with that person to a certain extent, and then they finally stop fucking with you, and then you're like, "Oh shit!" You know, like this you're actually you deep R and B shit, man. <laughs> they're actually like thinking about it in its entirety, like, mm. um, you know, how much you cared about them, how much they actually did for you, yeah. um, how supportive they were, that kind of thing. So, just um, <clears throat> you know, kind of just like being co- just like it's hard sometimes, like thinking outside of yourself, mm-hmm. and I feel like what usually happens. I think Dawson can like attest to this. What usually happens is like, it's usually after you lose them, that's when you start thinking outside of like you. You know what I'm saying? Because in the situation, it's like, oh yeah, like, oh, what's wrong with her? Like, she's doing too much. Like, nah, I don't really want to like that. And then once you're actually out, once you're outside the situation is where you can actually see what the situation was, like, for what it was. Mm-hmm. And for me, when you're in it, you're just like, oh, me, 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 um, that kind of thing. So yeah, like just being conscious of yourself and your surroundings, um, I think it's like that was definitely something that I learned from me. Just you know, being more aware. Um, and we actually, I think we talked about in the last episode of just like uh, perspective and like, yeah. like thinking outside of yourself. It, it, like it's hard. It's really hard because like um, a lot of people just have so much of their own shit going on that they're just thinking about themselves. You know. Um, yeah. But I think, like I said, like when it, like um, having being being in like that middle ground um i think it's that's like a that's like an okay place to be like i feel like being too much on the extreme where like you're always thinking like outside yourself thinking about everyone else mm. is a scary place to be and then thinking only about yourself is also mm. a scary place mm. to be oh, mm. so i okay. think being in the middle is like in my opinion yeah sure go girls on. are psychotic Whoa. And let me tell you why. Whoa. Girls want what they can't have. And once Niggas they have are like it, that too. But once they have it, what? they don't want it no more. Like that's, that's why this guy is pause, the pause, you pause, gave. Pause, 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 the situation pause, what you gave was pause, correct. Pause, because pause, pause, she pause. wanted what she couldn't have because he wasn't feeling her. And okay, once she had it, she didn't want it no more. Okay, no. I'm, I okay, so should I say something <laughs> real quick? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> let me say something really quick. First of all, mm-hmm. let's be real. That's how niggas I'm you, are. Niggas will still be. Okay? Niggas will still be, but girls will shoo you away. Like you're a dog. Shoo, shoo, shoo. I think the thing is, like, some wow. people, when they start talking to someone new, they like that, you know, when you start talking to someone new, you like that excitement. Like, it's someone new that you don't know. They give you some specific things that your last partner might not have. You know what I'm saying? So, sometimes I feel like they chase that feeling more than thinking of 
what that relationship can possibly be, you know? Because if you're spending time with that person every day for months, you're taking him on dates, you're doing this, da, 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 they're thinking in their head, damn, like, this thing is about to be my boyfriend, vice versa. But the other person might just, you know, enjoy the time of being with somebody. Mm. That person might not be that specific somebody, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then whatever, they shoo you, and then they <laughs> find someone, and all of a sudden, they're in a relationship. You're just not what they wanted. You were just... But then why was she there in the first place? <laughs> um, this goes for both, like both. No, modes, I don't like, for both, both, but you gave us the example of a girl. So they're, just, why she doing the they're bored. I mean, yeah. Are you honest? Yeah. No, like, honest. Honest. tell me you haven't talked to a girl because you were bored. Uh, huh? yes, you bored have. Is a weird yeah. bored is crazy. Okay, <laughs> like not not like, bored, bored, but you crazy. just ent- you entertained something just because you had nothing else to do, like. Okay, that sounds bad. See, I, think <laughs> niggas, I think niggas will f girls when they're bored. When niggas don't just talk to talk. That shit's just uh, pointless. niggas do talk to talk. That shit's just pointless. Nah, he you you may think that, but nah, he's trying to beat. <laughs> Like he's trying to beat. <laughs> There's an attention, bro. This is why niggas ain't shit. That's what I'm saying. Bored <laughs> is saying. crazy. Because if I'm bored, bro, I can go. You can go up. game with my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Bored is like crazy. Hey, I don't know about hey, talking hey, for. Hey. But you know, some niggas are. They some like what? zip down. Everything's open all the time. Like they just want to go and fuck the whole world. So. Yeah, niggas, <laughs> niggas are sluts, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying. Like, he knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want you to know? defend your brothers? No, I have nothing to say. <laughs> because you know it's true. Yep. Uh, the the show. world is evil. It's an evil place. Doctor, they're talking about your people, bro. Which people? Defend. The Which slut people? nation. So, eh? I'm dead. This is the one with open chest like this. <laughs> <laughs> please. 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 Yeah, you in your tight shirts. You're just poking your chest, huh? Shirt. I don't understand <laughs> this, this narrative, bro. All my shirts are normal size. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a medium guy. I wear medium. Okay, I wear medium. <laughs> We're doing great. So we're doing out. Great. <laughs> City girls up. As Isaac's queens are up. No mm-hmm. cash. So what's the angle then? <coughs> if only they were your what's, queens too. What, what's the angle? <laughs> angle for what? Angle for what? I'm saying what's like what's the like what's the point then like oh like he's trying to call you toxic. I'm yeah, not like, toxic. Like at what's all. your angle like like you give me the vibes that you don't like you're not part you don't play the game. You like, need to explain. I ha- I kind of ex- have to explain the situation for you to actually like. So yeah, explain it. Can we cut this part? Do you podcast? give a shit? We can, okay. but do you really give a shit about the guy? I really don't. So basically, this is how we met. <laughs> right you know what that means? Yeah. That so means he was tripping? laying it down. <laughs> is she gonna write three pages? That nigga was laying. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to your story. <laughs> That's it. So I cut him off. And he's just been calling me. Oh, so you guys aren't talking to me. That's the end of the story? Okay, so back to your being bored, right? No, the thing is with me, I'm actually like a lover girl. Like, I want to be in love. Like, on some real shit. I swear to God. Doxa knows. I swear to God. But the thing is, I just don't meet the right type of niggas that... They're just all ugh. Okay, so maybe... I'm not the problem. Maybe you're going for the wrong kind of (laughs) niggas. I'm just, I honestly think I'm going for the wrong guy. Okay, do you think, do you see a trend? Do you see a trend within the guys you go for? Because there's usually a trend. No, because they're all different. Like, they all have different personalities. If if their username isn't their government name, probably shouldn't go in Oh, no, I've dealt with, like... See, see, if it's... (laughs) If it's... (laughs) K1, K5, yo, just... No, I've done with K. I've done with, like... NSG. You know, all kinds of people, okay? CV, man. I've been with all kinds of people, and they're all the same, but they all have different type of personalities. Like, they're all... But essentially, it all goes down to the same shit. Which is what? Emotional manipulation, lying... Go on. Messing with... Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Being toxic. Not like that. Toxic. Like, literally everything. She didn't say buys so. and niggas, don't worry. <laughs> I don't deal with buys and niggas. What? Huh? What do you say? We don't do well, buys and niggas. Why don't we do buys and niggas? class niggas, yeah, as you can say. We, we, we class. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we treat niggas. No, I just want to meet someone that is just genuine. Like, you meet someone, you vibe with them, you kick with them. Their, their intentions are pure. You know what I'm saying? She go for like, white guys. Ew. 
Wait, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. My kids are gonna be full black. I. Whew. What are okay. No offense. I feel that. I feel that. I, feel that. I, feel that. I thought no. you were. I thought you were white. He's half white. No offense. <laughs> no offense to white people. We love white people, but okay. I just know my ger- generation going down is all gonna be black, 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 black. Okay, so why do I might want to marry a white girl? Oh, we're changing that. We'll see. And why do I feel Anyways, like dub that kind of guy. I've been with. I feel like the guy you're talking about that you want. I feel like you've dubbed him already. I don't think so. I think it's just the way they have to. I think it's because I like a certain way of people approaching me. I don't know. Like, I don't want someone. Okay, you can be interested, but like, don't give me too much right away. You know, like, show me interest. Show that you're interested. Cool, but like, slow it down. Get to know me. Like, don't. I don't want to say don't compliment too much, but you know how some people can come off very, very like. Strong, strong. Morning, morning beautiful. Nine like five a.m. Morning beautiful. I miss you at nine a.m. Like that could be a thing. Four months down the line, six months down the line. Like I'll appreciate that. Like you know, but like as soon as we're meeting, you're t- like every day I'm beautiful. Thank you, but that's too much. You don't think? Mm, so there's a game. That's sure. Yes. 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 Me personally, there's Not a certain you. way of okay. <laughs> this is why niggas. This is literally why niggas. <clears throat> I'm destroying my queen. I think this is part of the reason why. <laughs> this is part of the reason why girls. Yes, tell them, tell them what's wrong with them. No, I'm not no, telling no. them what's wrong with them. I'm just saying, like, <clears throat> I just, I think it's part of the reason why girls usually get, like... The wrong guys. Yeah, like, they, the, like, expectation, like, is different from, like, uh, what's it called? Like, the, the, the reality, right? That's why mm-hmm. a nigga <clears throat> will do all this, and then once he gets you, he switches up, or... Because, um, like... You know, or he actually shows you who he actually is, because he yeah. knows, oh, look, if I'm myself around her... Oh yeah, I'm not getting her. So what am I gonna do? Let me put up a front. You feel me? You put up a front. Once I get her, then I'm gonna do what I want. You know what I'm saying? So. And that's what I mean when like, I 100% agree with that because yeah. every guy I meet, they always ask you, "What do you like in a guy? What's your what's your uh, love and then language?" He impersonates that, right? Exactly. Now it's like <laughs> now it's <laughs> like yeah, the <laughs> they, you tell them everything. They yeah. do everything, and then because as when you go into a relationship if you're not you're, you're 100 yourself as soon as you get in like mm-hmm. there's always gonna be a switch there's always that switch as soon as they're tired of giving you everything they're done like they got you they're they're good and now everything yeah you get yeah. too comfortable like you can never get too comfortable that's the thing mm-hmm. do you know and i think uh, time, another problem so. with this whole uh, when they ask, like when you meet someone first and they say ask questions to get to them me then ask questions like the question you should be asking is not like what do you want in the guy you should be mm-hmm. asking oh like what kind of like things do you like find out about her mm-hmm. not about what she wants in you because then that, that's how you get bamboozled when you answer those kind of questions like what do you want in the guy and then <clears throat> yeah you're right they'll come and they'll give you prince charming yeah. whereas they're, li- they're the frog you know you're what i'm saying right. so it's just like you, sometimes it's just paying attention to the, like the words and paying attention to exactly what they're saying than just answering questions just because he's giving you he's giving you the questions that you wanted to you said ask me questions he's asking you questions but now just pay attention to the type of questions that they're asking you yeah Mm. so what's your like so like for you right now at this stage why are you still around like, why am I still single? Yeah, because I got asked the same question. Like, <clears throat> no, not why are you still single, but it's like, if someone, like, you said yourself you're looking for love and stuff like that, right? Like, so if you're looking for love... I'm not going to go out looking for it. Let's just no, I, 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 okay. I, get, I get that. But okay. I'm saying, like, if you're looking for love and the person you're talking to is not showing you signs of that, I, what's keeping you around? Like, what's I'm, keeping I'm you not entertaining him? That, like, I've been done. Okay, that was you entertaining it. That's me feeling bad because. Why do you feel bad? It's not that I. I don't. <laughs> uh, like you know how sometimes you just want to hear someone out, like. But it's like I really don't even need to hear you. Well. You know, you know what I'm saying? Saying? Do you like the attention that he gives you? <coughs> yes, she does. No, I don't because he doesn't give me attention that I actually like. Like. You know, you know, you know when you know, you know when <laughs> I said let me there's, tell you. There's, there's different. There's you gotta understand there's the spectrum, right? Mm-hmm. So there's a yeah, level where you have empathy, <laughs> and then there's there's people like Isaac that doesn't give a shit. What do you mean, people like Isaac? <laughs> no, but as in like, oh, if, he's talking about Isaac. If, yeah, I'm Keyshawn. If, yeah, if, if a girl does something to Isaac, 
And I'm Keyshawn, don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to do something to Isaac and she's pissed him off. Mm. Or, and then he said something like, oh, go away in a harsh manner. To him, he doesn't really care whether or not she's upset about it. Mm. Where someone with empathy would be like, mm, I shouldn't have talked to him that way. Mm-hmm. Let me go apologize. Now that's where that's like explaining Shumi's situation <laughs> without it. You try to say I have no empathy. <laughs> In, yes, yes, yes. I wouldn't have that's, said it. Honestly. Me, like, me personally, I wouldn't have said anything. Even. I would have just walked away. There we go. But like you also gonna But then you, you not saying anything might anyway. hurt her. That's what I'm saying. There are people with empathy that might think, mm. let me try and explain why I'm angry. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So in that's a, uh, I, I think you're being biased, bro. I'm not, think, I'm not being biased. No, I'm not biased because way. if she have said that same thing, you would have said that's the problem. That's part of the problem. No, no, no I've told, no, I've told her what the problem is. Yes, bro. But like, no, I'm, t- I'm trying to explain her situation without explaining her situation. Okay. The situation is that he fucked up. She went off and said some some things towards him. Now she's feeling bad because okay. he's now doing the whole oh call me back, call me okay. back. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, that makes but I don't sense. even feel guilt. The thing is, like <clears throat> he fucked up. Mm-hmm. Right, I called him out on what exactly what he did, mm-hmm. and he couldn't he he couldn't rebuttal like mm-hmm. he knew exactly what he did right. right, and then he was like okay you know what I'm gonna work on it but then then I can do it again like you don't listen like uh, let me not go off if you ever want to be in a relationship listen to what your partner says every little <laughs> detail matters I promise you oh successful god. I swear to God yeah. but. Yeah, he did that shit again. I was just over, like, at that point, I don't like repeating myself. If I told you I don't like something, like, mm-hmm. you should take that in. That mm-hmm. just shows me you're, you're not listening. You're really not interested in me like yeah. that. Like, you don't want to get to, you don't want to be my piece. Like, you just cause problems all the time. We don't like that. So, I had to cut that nigga off still. If you're going to answer this phone, what do you want to talk to him? Because the problem with girls is that they'll answer the phone they will not have a plan. Right. Mm-hmm. The guy will find words and bamboozle mm-hmm. her. Yeah. Now, she said, what do I do? I said, what do you want? On- do you answer the phone to insult him? Do you want to answer the phone to take him back? There are so many reasons why you want to answer the phone. Why do you want to answer the phone? Once you establish that reason, you can answer the phone. If not, there's no point. And that's why I said, like, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't take, I don't like girls that act naive and stupid and then because the funny thing is look if now, I know the guy would have said something that will make her eyes shine and then all of a sudden tomorrow <laughs> wrong shorty call, wrong shorty <laughs> wrong shorty <laughs> she will call me like you wrong shorty you you're lying if it was if it was Dave East hell yeah <laughs> the <laughs> fuck I swear to God, but you guys act like a. Let me not really say it out loud. You got a whole roster. Don't get it twisted, baby. Uh, yeah. Okay. What? Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't hear that right, bro. I think I heard that right. Not like that. Not like that. But you know. Oh, you have niggas. Like you don't have shorties in line. No. You don't know the next person oh, you're gonna talk to. Oh, I'll cut this Shay. part short. So you. Shay. You, I will, so you, you guys, don't know. Listen, listen. You so don't you guys know. say you get no girls. No, no, no. There's a, there's a difference between mm-hmm. getting girls and having a roster, though. Okay. So, do you get girls? Yes. What about you? Hmm? Do you get girls? Yes. From time to time. So do you. From time to time. Whoa, why are you speaking for me? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> do you get girls? Yes, that's the correct way. You asked me a question. Do you get girls? <laughs> do you get girls? And if you would have allowed me to answer, I would have given you a detailed okay, do you explanation. Get, do you get girls? But now I don't want to answer because you came to me with rudeness. What? Okay? So, keep talking. This guy's insane. But, like, when you talk to someone... Uh, let me not say that out loud actually you know who you're gonna talk to next i don't care what you say you know exactly which girl you're gonna hit up i feel like girls do that more than yeah (laughs) no niggas do because if a girl dm'd you right now a good looking girl Mm -hmm. you're gonna start talking to her no which happened last week and you're single Ooh, right, yeah, but that's not very often that girls. Did, did didn't know you mentioned the phone call. But you know, did I just, did you, did I you know, you're interested in internet. No, <laughs> what did you say? What'd you say? No, what? Wait, I didn't hear. I didn't hear you. you <laughs> that's between me and Doxon, bro. That's between you and the phone call. Running back, running back, running back. Running back. <laughs> running back. <laughs> running back. Yeah, it's running all back. good. You, 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 you see when it comes out. <laughs> run back to film. Run back to film. It's all good. Play on the play. What happened, bro? No play. But. <laughs> no, y'all been attacking my queens too much. Nah. Y'all better shut up. Nobody's Listen, attacking nobody. Don't Black be, History Month. Let's let's be let's be let's be real right now. Everybody has a roster. Not even a roster, but they know exactly who they're gonna talk to. Everybody next. is also oh, cap. Not me. That's true. I'm a lover boy. Don't forget. But continue, my bad. My bad. 
This guy's marketing is insane. <laughs> it's well, insane. It's this guy. Take lessons, bro. Puffy is just for all the girls right now. <laughs> we no, don't just know living in the angle, bro. You know, you know he was in the back doing push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> get that chest. <laughs> get that pump before the show. <laughs> so you have your next nigga lined up is what you're saying? No, I don't. You don't? <laughs> 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 I'm single work, man. That's, I'm that's single. just working more efficiently. Like that's always having right. a backup. Yeah. You know how do you feel? About, no, how do you? How would you feel about that if it was the other way around, though? If it was the other way around, yeah. Like you, have you, have to, you have to have your yeah, options. Sure. Why can't you? You're know? asking an, a robot. You're asking a robot. <laughs> this guy does not. Sure. Give I'm a you have to have your options. No. If you're talking to someone, you're talking to one person at a time. You're talking to three people at a time. Wow! 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 Three. I don't. I don't talk. I only talk about. Listen, that, but. off of you're like the way like you describe yourself, like it just doesn't make it. Like for me, like I just feel like that's a wrong mentality to have in certain situations, right? Like Docs say, if you're playing the game of sex, that's completely different. But if you're looking for love, why are you thinking about having options? You know what I, I'm saying? That I know. Okay, you're mm-hmm. getting. I think you got to mix that. Okay, yeah. so. I'm not saying that, like, when I talk to someone, I'm like, okay, yeah, like, if this doesn't work out, I know exactly who to hit next. Yeah. That's not the case at all, right? You have niggas that already hit you up prior to him, but mm-hmm. you're yeah. not responding to them. You're not entertaining any of them, really, right? You have to realize you're, you're playing the game with pre-privilege. There's yeah. some girls that actually have <laughs> that's why I was saying that's what I was saying not, not every like everyone is capped when you say like, <laughs> everyone is capped it's not true some girls are working overtime no cap okay. okay. yeah. you, 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 you get niggas so what you're saying is you get niggas so there's always, you <laughs> there's always another nigga you can just you can hit up or like there's always another nigga you can no, start fucking with no no because no you get niggas okay but no at the same time no what niggas you want you don't get niggas I get niggas but not the ones I want like huh you said you Anybody don't get can, niggas. Bro, you can have a hundred bitches hit you up at the same time. Mm-hmm. And Which none of them are baby. literally like you don't want any of them. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> black the very important. <laughs> right? You don't want any of them. But now you're you're let's so say you're going that out for dinner. That question applies to me, not them. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now you're going now you're out for dinner with your boys <laughs> mm-hmm. and whatever, you a girl walks by and then you guys talk da, da, da. now you're clicking with the person. Mm-hmm. Now you yeah. want to get to know this person. Yeah. Those hundred bitches are still there, no? Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing. Exact same that's exact that's what I'm saying. Like if I meet someone I'm talking, I'm not thinking about who's next. I'm not thinking about my past. It's just strictly but the options you. Are there, but you saying. you know the options are there. They know the options. Everybody knows the options are there. Mm-hmm. That's how I'm describing it. It's not like I'm playing seven days. So at the same so time. when everything was like going that. good with this nigga, you weren't talking to anybody else. It was just him? It was just him. When was it ever going good with him? Didn't you listen? <laughs> that was the day. That was literally you didn't, you didn't, one day. Yeah, I said he's yes. a good listener. Yes, no, no, that day. That's what I'm talking to anybody else. <laughs> but it like, if, if I'm focused on one person, I'm focused on count. one person. Even if things, how the hell does that count? Even if things Please. don't go like, if they're it's going good, shut up, bitch. If they're going good and like one thing happens, I'm not gonna be like, fuck that person. Let me go talk to somebody else. Like, obviously, we'll work through it. You know. Good job. Spray doesn't know what he's doing, bro. What? Did I touch your thing? <laughs> but yeah, as you're saying. Um, Niggas ain't I shit. Said, 2022. No, that's not what I said. I just, <laughs> I just want to be in love. That's, that's no it. Okay. Even, look, we were even talking about, we talked about it on the last episode, I think. Uh, our, like, R&B, right? Yeah. I feel like music is a very, very big influence on our generation. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you can see it. Mm. Yeah, because the way R and B was back then, where everyone is talking about love like it's heaven. They were like me. Why? Why you keep looking at me? Like that? <laughs> and you said something, so I looked at you. Am I not allowed to look at you when you say something? They were like me. And just being and then now, well, if we go through R and B playlist, you see that every day is just very sex oriented or toxicity or this girl did this to me or even bitches niggas do you get what i'm saying yeah. back then how many love songs would you hear with the word bitches in it do you get what i'm saying like it was it was an admiration for love everyone celebrated it whereas now it's something that's almost non-existent mm. everyday toxic everyday 
you know she did me wrong he did me wrong yeah it's so yeah i feel like our generation they just they love to be toxic it's like a drug yeah, you know yeah. it's like they fucked up i'm gonna get them better yep. 10 times better than they did and it's, it's cool. like it's, it's cool to be toxic it's not huh i mean like it's cool oh i'm like <laughs> it's not it's not cute but no yeah you're, yeah that's I, yeah yeah like it's like, a cool thing now yeah 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 which shouldn't be a thing like you want really 90s type of love you know what i'm saying like sing to me get the boom yeah, box wanna, outside wanna you know yeah. 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 you want to cry in the rain the next, yeah. next like come on bro. you know like, like that type of love cat, bro fuck Stop. all this talk please. listen listen let me tell you something let me tell you something cat, there could bro. be 10 niggas outside your doorstep holding boom boxes and the nigga that left you on red that's i promise niggas. he's gonna be the one you're I'm thinking not that about type of, no i promise he will be the one you're thinking about Doctor, you can you can testify to this. this is you think I'm that type of shorty? Doctor, this is psychology, bro. Stop. No. See, it's see, it's like psych- it took a it's woman's psychology for course, the majority. You know, right. so so yeah, woman's gender. Just, well, no, I was I was advocating for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's psychology no. the majority. It's a safe generalization yeah. that we can make. But right. I feel like that's like that's somebody that doesn't know what they want. Like, yeah, they're just used to someone being toxic. Like, how are you? Gonna, come on. I, mean, I personally don't think many women know what they want but i, I think they have an idea of what they want they just yeah. maybe just run into, the, run wrong into the wrong yeah they keep <laughs> running into the wrong person and yeah like when someone uh, you guys pray for me please like <laughs> see see niggas are down to the good. point yo i want a latina i want her to ask to be fat i want her to act like this i want to do this i want to do this well girls are all over the no place, but bro. using no. that example does that make sense? Because you, you can have that. Yeah, yeah. I was like talking shit. about other niggas. Like, <laughs> <laughs> not myself. I'm, I'm, I'm saying you come to me. She will find love. She treat you like shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you comp- then with some guys they'll ask for so 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 and so physically. They get with so 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 and so. She is. She doesn't care about him. She's. She doesn't have sense. Yeah. All of a sudden they generalize and say so so and so and so. All of people with those attributes are now the problem. Yeah, that's the problem with guys. That's the problem with our end. When we can you give a perfect example of that? Sorry to interrupt what? you, but think about how Nick. Sorry to interrupt no, no, y'all. No, 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 no. Think about like, because I know somebody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a girl broke his heart when he was 16, 14. Oh, you guys <laughs> hold that for the rest they of your life. They hold it so long. They oh hold it for the rest of your life. Why? I don't know. <laughs> uh, listen, listen, I'll no, tell you why. why. I'll tell you why. why. It's society. It's society because guys are never taught how to deal with their emotions. So if we're never taught how to deal with our emotions, we never process those feelings. And you just keep holding on to them because you keep suppressing them, suppressing them, suppressing them. When girls, they cry their heart out. They talk with their friends. They get over that shit. Guys, you never really get over that shit. It's always going to be in the back of your head. But what if you meet someone else that just like, you know, they fulfill everything that you need? You're still thinking about that bitch that broke your heart. Sorry, mm-hmm. not that bitch. You're still thinking about that girl that broke your heart when you were 14, 16. Because you never processed those feelings. That's kind of... like. I and you project how you feel about... How you felt about it to the, onto the next person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's I mean, I like, don't do that, but I heard niggas be doing that shit. scary. <laughs> but don't you think, nigga, like, bro. within time, like, as you mature, like mm-hmm. absolutely, like some, some yeah, niggas so get it doesn't over make sense. Mature. Like you like, 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 obviously you get, like nigga get over it. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think what he said is valid. Like definitely, um, I has a part to play in it. So that's yeah. why there's it ends up like not working. You feel me? Like a girl might come with all of this, but he's like, nah, she's gonna do me like the last girl did me. Nah, yeah. fuck that. No way. I'm tr- I don't trust you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, sometimes your heart is too fragile, bro. You know what I'm sometimes. saying? Like it's not everyone you give your heart to because yeah. Imagine if by mistake you meet five girls in the road that are complete demons and yeah. number six is the angel. Mm-hmm. After four, four, you're tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. You're tired. See, that's that's me right now. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. I'm so tired. what are you gonna do? Bro, we're exhausted. I'm gonna stay single till you know God blesses me with a <clears throat> till the guy with the with the, <laughs> the boom box. <laughs> the boom box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, 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 if yeah, if a guy with a boom box, you but know, I have a balcony. At home that's left you on red. red. You'll be thinking about him. No, <laughs> fuck that nigga on red. We want the nigga with the boom box. You know, if you okay. wanna. If you want to fall in love with me, bring me a boombox. Boom one more selling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you got to play some 90s R&B. You can't just be playing anything. Call, call me Faye Sweetie. You know. know. What's, what's the other cultist? What's the name? Summer Walker? Yeah. No, I, no yeah. I love Summer Walker. We don't bash Summer Walker. Yeah. No, she's a cultist. <laughs> so is Brent. She do- yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I don't disagree. So is future. But anyways, we move. Yeah, so yeah, right. she does magic. She kills chicken <laughs> in the room and she sprays their blood. Bro, she does magic. No, she doesn't. What? She kills chickens She's in her queen. room? Come on. Chickens, rats, all yeah, the same thing. She's a cultist. Oh, that's all I can say. Okay, I have Wait, a question. Are you, are you advocating for Summer Walker? Yes, that's my queen. Black uh, History Month. Wow. I have a question for you guys. Have you guys <laughs> ever been in love? No. <laughs> 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 No. Nah. Nah. Doctor? I've been close to it. Nice. Like, What's close to it? Describe it. That's what I was finna say. I don't I don't know. Exactly. You don't know? So yeah, I, I know you weren't actually in love then. That's what I'm that's saying. That's what that's what I'm saying. <laughs> You've been Bro, close to it. Close. How much how much are they paying you? <laughs> what do you mean? How are they paying you? I'm not paying you. This is a podcast of three I'm guys. guys. I'm trying to educate you. Whatever they're paying you, they should pay us two words. That's what it is. I, I every time every time a girl comes on the show, Black of the Bay, tell me you don't you don't realize this. They just they parade them. They just start attacking. So I had to I had to defend our queen today. I'm sorry, I had to. I had to. You guys, you guys love destroying. No one's destroying. God, just too much her destruction. Brain, in nah, keep asking. But yeah, I like the thing is that I can easily say yes, right? But at the end of the day, I I don't know. It could have been infatuation. Mm-hmm. It could have been lust. Love is not something that. So why don't you know? Because I don't. You didn't get to that point. I can't. Like I'm still trying to examine my feelings. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, so you haven't fully processed your feelings. Even now? No, I have. Like I'm. I'm. I'll say like eighty, ninety percent sure. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, she was a pretty girl. Yeah. I could have been lost. It could have been infatuation. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? She was a very, very pretty girl. Do you don't think you've ever been close? No. No. But how do you like? How do you even like? It, I, feel like you, you know. I feel like you know. I feel like you have to like, examine the effect you know, that she you know. had on you. Yeah, I feel like you would know for sure. Like like, like, I don't believe in that shit. It's I don't think you can really put a definition to it. Like you, you, can't, you can't put a definition yeah. to it. It's but really when you know, you know. No, no. Okay, so what is it then? I feel like love is not something you can't put a definition on. Love, love. You can't. You can't. You can't like quantify love. Okay, there's difference. And the reason why you can't someone and being in love with someone. No, I know, but I'm saying you can't quantify love, right? Yeah. So. There's no exact point that you say, okay, cool. I know I love this girl. Love is something you build as well. Mm -hmm. Love Mm -hmm. is not a complete set. It's not one to ten. It's it's infinite. Do you get what I'm saying? So, if you meet someone that you have a very good connection with, you could call it love because you grow in that love. The love that you have for that person that you fell in love with at the beginning is not the same love when you're both married in ten years. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why, like, I, I don't know what to call this girl. I, I, I don't like at first I thought mm, maybe I was in love or whatever, but at the same time, I, I, I think about it. I'm but like, don't you think, like, sorry to interrupt you, don't, th- yeah. don't you think, like, when you're in love or when you're about to get there, like, the feeling's kind of easy? Like, it's not something that you have to, like, think about too much or fight for, or in your case, like, I feel like it should just come easy. Like, it should come natural. Yeah, but love is, love, like, it should come natural, but love is... Like, that a, a feeling mistake, should be natural. A mis- yeah, 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 it should be natural. But a mistake that people make is to say that love is easy when love is actually hard work. Because in order to love someone, there are certain compromises that you have to make. And also, there are certain things that you have to give up from yourself because loving that person means you're coming together as one. Mm-hmm. The same with loving your mom. There are certain, certain things that your mom will do that you're not happy with, but you have to accept it. Mm-hmm. You know, but you still love her. You know what I'm saying? So, love is like the fact that you love your mom. It's easy because it's a natural thing to know that look, I'm in love with the person that's creating me and the person that's building me. But at the same time, it's hard work because every day you have to remember. Let me show my mom love. You have to make her know that she loves you. It's a conscious effort to do things that she likes. Let's say on her birthday you call her. That's a conscious effort. Mm-hmm. However easy it is for you to remember, it's still work for you to remember. Because for someone else, that could be hard work to remember someone's birthday. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, love, the feeling of love, the nature of it, it should come naturally. I would not use the word easy because that's where a lot of people have failed. They think love is easy. When you go into something and it requires work, then you say, this is not love. Not easy in the in the aspect of like it be easy. You don't have to do nothing, but just yeah. like 
it should like your heart should be at peace you know like it should feel easy like the way you can go and play basketball and shoot like i feel like it should feel like that when you're with that person all the time are you, are you speaking from experience i've never been in love okay. no i just i just Have you been close? i think about it i've never no i don't think so no, no. Interesting. i just think it's something that i see in movies i see around Do you have this idea of what yeah it is yeah mm. and i feel like i haven't met someone that you know has been able to embodies what you everything. think it is or what it what it will feel or like it could, yeah, yeah. Or what, what it could be yeah yeah interesting <laughs> <laughs> So Kanye, 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 uh, Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. Kanye has been terrorizing my timeline. <laughs> the girls love it though. The girls, of course. yeah, girls. of course. All these. I've seen a lot of girls saying, "If my nigga's not acting like Kanye, I don't want." Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying a lot of girls love Kanye. <coughs> no, I'm talking about like you, you, girl you know the whole that. like him, whole Kim situation. Yeah, the he's way he's like. like. Yeah, people. People are so quick to blame Kim. I mean, to blame Kanye, but niggas are forgetting this is Kim's third failed marriage. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How does this nigga switch like this? <laughs> <laughs> I so, know he has mental health issues. Okay, so like, stuff, what, so obviously that had a part to play with it, and she had her breaking point. Yeah. But nigga, she's also not perfect. Okay, so yeah, like, what's your point? True. So, oh, you think people are just like, oh, it's so quick to blame like Kanye. The, the marriage failed because of him. Mm-hmm. Is what yeah, you're that's a, yeah, that's what most people think. Okay, I agree. That's the actually a good point. Yeah, that's the conversation we're having. Was it on Monday or Tuesday? Whenever it was, we having a com- Do you want to explain your side? Start out, babes. I can't remember what you said, but I remember what I said. That's one thing. Do you want to explain the question you asked me? I'm trying to think. It was. It was like. Do, uh, uh, it was something along the lines of like, do I think Kanye actually has mental issues? Oh. Something along those lines. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna ask you a question. So do you? Do you think he has mental issues or do you think it's like more of a thing where he's because you know when you develop as a child Mm -hmm. there's different i told this in my in my uh one of my classes but there's different ways everybody develops right some people Mm -hmm. can miss uh a specific thing where it's like they Mm -hmm. they don't know how to love properly or you know everybody has their own thing so i feel like with kanye what he was saying is maybe he's missed there's something not something missing but like what were you saying so essentially what I was saying was that I don't believe, I feel like people painting this brush and telling him that he's got mental issues, I don't personally believe he's got mental issues. I just think he's, he's some, he's, he has he's himself, yeah. Yeah. he's and just a different it's not version of he's just he's, yeah. just he's just a different person, yeah. right? And I feel like with him being himself, he's always been, he's always been in a bubble right mm-hmm. whether it's been when he was younger it's the protection of his mum yeah because he seems like from everything that comes out it seems <laughs> uh, missiles at Ukraine what eh yeah he did like, on BuzzFeed yeah it's official <laughs> they're in war now <laughs> what yeah no, as in so when, when, just now when it was a few hours ago you didn't what? see it no, a few see hours it. yeah search it there's up there's no way I would have seen it yeah he uh he launched missiles he launched a missile multiple like just regular ones or nuclear missiles? I think they're nuclear. That's what she does. Like, I'll send it, you the post docs. It hit people or it hit like... I don't know yet. There's no way. <laughs> that's a madness. Like that's not even funny. I can't lie. There's no way, bro. I Because I, you sent me that thing in the morning, right? Yeah. About there were like sanctions and like... um. He said he was... I, I saw something about him like testing it out. Or, yeah, yeah. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, it's so, on Twitter. You guys. Huh? Yeah, he launched missiles. Cold War. <laughs> Tough. You know what this means? It doesn't mean nothing for me. I'm going back home. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. It has pretty big implications. He's going to touch the Caribbean. Too. Nobody cares about us. Yeah. Y'all will be fine. We chilling, sipping on coconuts by the beach. I'll watch y'all go. Bloss head in Kiev. Yeah. That's oh my so where, where, where? Somebody send it to me, please, please. Oh, I thought I Twitter? did send it to you. you. Sorry? Do you have Twitter? You do have Twitter. No, I do, but I don't use it. Like, That's obviously, like, I'll check it, but I don't use it at all. What? <laughs> Does that even make sense? <laughs> I literally don't use it. That's all I think about the sanctions. So, it says, Russia, so I'm seeing something on Twitter. Russia 
says it's using high precision weapons and not targeting civilians in Ukrainian strike. What does that mean? Uh, Ukraine is set to impose <coughs> martial law. This is crazy. Putin warned other countries that that and that have <laughs> that attempt to interfere with the Russian action would lead to consequences they have never seen. That was a real nigga. Bro. Yo, these memes are too funny. Bruh. Dematerialization of Ukraine. Uh, somebody, I saw, Brother, I saw a video that was like videos. somebody was saying yeah. that this is the first oh! time. This is the first time that oh! if, you, if you go to Can war. That or send it to me. Uh, somebody send was to saying me. that uh, this is the first time that if you went to war, like this is the first time like there would be a war with social media, <laughs> yeah, like, actual social media, right? So it'll be like there'll be like a whole social oh, we media. We should side just let it. Russia take Ukraine. What do you mean? Oh, what that, was that their was, land oh, first? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, this, is, this is the what thing. What do you mean, though? Like, like, who cares? Bro, those are people's lives. Okay. I don't understand. Okay, do you think they're going to kill all of them? All they want is their land back. That's not even what they wanted. They just Yes, they, they do. They know? said that Ukraine was built on Russia's lands, and they formed their, they formed their own country. Okay, I understand that's what they, that. That's what they want, okay, their, but I, their old land back. I, I, that, that's, not why, that's not why Putin declared war on Ukraine. or. That's the issue, why this whole conflict started. No, the reason the conflict started okay. is because of NATO, right? Okay. Ukraine wants to join NATO, right? Russia has an issue with that, just in terms of like, like political power, mm -hmm. because Ukraine is connected to Russia. Like Russia's here, Ukraine is here, right? And Putin thinks NATO is becoming too big, so he's warning NATO. He's telling them that if Ukraine joins, because Ukraine wants to join, right? Mm -hmm. Ukraine's like pretty pretty much smacked up in the middle. If Ukraine joins NATO. Right, and they become too big. Then we're gonna have an issue. You get what I'm saying? Do you know my problem with politics? Right? So, my problem with politics is that these politicians are acting. They are acting, or they're doing certain things just because they're not the ones that actually have to do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually thinking about it. Um, if it was <coughs> a point where. Like the animals do it. If you want this land, your leader fights our leader. Yeah. They will fight and we'll see who win. You will see that no one will be doing all this rubbish. Because right now, it's like Putin can say shit, um, Biden can say shit just because they know they'll never be touched. They'll, that's yeah, it. they're not affected. But that's how I'm, that's I'm politics, not, bro. No, I know, but this one's this is my problem with politics because it's not directly affecting them. Yeah. You're able to say a lot of you're able to say and do a lot of crazy things that has no effect on you. Okay, but I have a question for you, Dawson. I said I have a problem. There's no I I don't bloody know the solution. No, see, the solution actually no, the solution is is anything to do with like when the it comes solution to was supposed to be the, be the United Nations. No, no, no. That See, was supposed to be the solution. My, my solution to this is anything that has to the do United with Russia. conflict, <laughs> resolve it in a physical brawl. Resolve it in a physical brawl, and you see that a lot of these leaders will Such stop acting name. like this. Like th this is this stop is the violence. This, this is very this is very very childish. This is very very childish. Fighting is childish too. No, but then you would, like if okay look Isaac if I said if let's say for example let's put it this way if we had beef yeah yeah and you know you're not fighting I okay. know I'm not fighting I can chat all the shit I can tell you, I'm gonna blow your head off you tell me the same thing I'm gonna blow your head off okay and then we just send Shimini and Shoya to shoot I can say everything I want to say and do everything I want to do because someone else is doing it and yeah. someone else is yeah, getting shot it's not even you. Whereas, imagine now, if you saw me, mm -hmm. I saw you, I said, Isaac, I'll beat you up. Yes. Would you be inclined to have that fight? Yes, of course. And why would you be having that, how, why would you have that inclination to fight, have that fight? Is it because you believe you can beat me? Or is it because you believe someone else is going to fight your fight? Definitely because I'm seeing you in person. And you, you have that belief in yourself to fight, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. There we go. Now, imagine if... You didn't have that belief in yourself. Mm. You're just a scrawny little youth, like yeah. a brother in the Lord. If I told him, <laughs> I will fight you right now, do mm. you think he would say yes? No. Online, he might. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this is my point. This is my point. Yeah. 
This is my point because yeah. a lot of these leaders do not have that direct impact. They're saying a lot of rubbish. Like Biden now, Biden's one of the, yo, he's one of the reasons for this rubbish. Wait, so Darcy, you don't believe in conversation, conflict, and resolution? What? Conflict and resolution. Like they come together and discuss it out. Like you oh, said, yeah, me that, and you that, have we, 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 can, we can do that together too. and we talk. We can do that too. We can, we can do that too. Doing, it's just not working. No, 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 no. Because yes, no, look, look the conflict and, and resolution. Yes, they have to. Look, the conflict and resolution. You're still, you're still the conflict and resolution part. If the resolution is not that there's conflict, right? Mm-hmm. The conflict part is not is not affecting them. Yeah. So they can say anything. Like now, Biden and Putin, right? If they were to go into an argument, yeah, Putin can intimidate Biden very easily. As in just ah, the I two agree. of them in the room, he can intimidate. <laughs> Biden is a scorn. He should be able to, but yeah, he could. Yeah, he probably would. What do you mean? Because everybody knows the US Army is the most powerful. This army is my in the world. point. Forget the fucking army. Just yeah. look at why, Biden why? and yeah, look yeah, at I'm Putin. Look at the two. Just the two of them. Yeah. Biden's looking deaf in the face, bro. That guy's old, scrawny. He he's time. done nothing. He even the way he speaks, he he can't articulate himself with any menace. If you put the two of them in the room this. to conflict, so <laughs> if they if you if you put the two of them to see this, to actually have a conflict and resolution, Biden is not winning in any facet. Whether it's talking it out, Bring debating it out, or fighting it out, he's not winning in any facet. He knows that, but now you're getting you're getting him chatting shit, doing oh there'll be serious consequences, nigga. Okay. Shut up, bro. So, doctor, would you rather someone like Donald Trump be handling this matter then? Bro, he handled it, didn't he? Yes, I'm saying. So I'm just asking. Yes, because there mm. will be no war. Dude, see, another thing is if if you realize right with 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 Trump, Putin, Kim Jong, whatever this Kim one Jong-un. is, yeah, with all of them, they respect each other. And not as inspectors in their brethren, they respected that this guy is on shit. He's on shit. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, Trump, Trump, Trump when well, the guys were talking shit, Trump said, we'll bomb the shit out of them. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> well, 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 with Biden, you can see none of them care about what he has to say. He's just like the little brother that just wants he to get He has Alzheimer's, hey? Sorry they, to interrupt. That, that's not this the thing. This man has yeah. Alzheimer's. How are you going to have the president? Oh. Do you get what I'm saying? Like... Yo, this shit pissed me bro, off. Trump was cracked though, but that that nigga, that nigga still on business, bro. bro. They respected each other. They were all bullies that respected each other. Yeah. It's Biden's not in the equation. Man. I feel like Biden's even even edged him on, to be very honest. Because I feel like what happened in my mind, Putin was like, "Yo, Ukraine, come back here, come here. I'll drag you by the ears." Ukraine was like, "No, nah, no," nah. but they're eventually gonna do it. And then Biden came in the equation, and I was like. Oh, don't touch him. Otherwise, I'll send my army on you. And Prince was like, you, fuck off, man. You know what? Come here, Ukraine. Bro, I bet you Putin was just saying that just to just to piss off Ukraine. Just, just edge him on a little bit. But as soon as Biden came in, he pushed him. He pushed him to the edge. And look at what's going to... Oh, my God. Yeah. And the funny thing is, Biden, Biden is not even too. smart enough to even realize he's the cause of this shit. He's now going to... Dude, he's gonna go through with what he said and f- throw it. Oh, bro! <laughs> politics. Yeah, it's crazy. This bro. is it's why crazy. I hate politics. This is one reason why I hate politics because none of them are fighting their own bot- battles. Yeah, none of them. <laughs> I, I still, I'll never forget this day. This bro, this nigga thought he ate with this. He looked into the camera. He looked into everybody's eyes. He said, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. He, he said he that <laughs> with his full chest. This is all Alzheimer's heart attack have your ass. <laughs> what the hell? This is what I'm saying, bro. Like, are you hearing the things this guy is saying? <laughs> Nah, he, he nah, said some crazy, crack out shit before. I'm not going to lie. It's too crazy. He, he said some it. crazy shit. Nah, but like, what, I think he's what happens being... now, bro? Mm. Hmm? What happens now? Everybody be a gets involved. Way. That's what happens. It's crazy. I think there'll definitely be a lot of meets with the United Nations to try and like hatch it out, but yo, the UN ain't shit. I don't they think don't much do is shit. gonna happen. I don't think any resolutions. But is gonna a happen. war is too crazy, bro. Bro, right you see, now, funny, funny thing is, right? ever. Funny thing is, right? Yeah, bro. Funny thing now, because right. like before, not as many people had like nuclear weapons, but now everyone like technology has advanced so much that everyone has like thermal, not like just new thermonuclear weapons, like that can decimate like. Literally countries like this, you know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy. Like, 
throwing the first stone in any situation. Because I watched the I watched the conversation where he was like, "Look, there's gonna be no winners." You know, like Putin looked in the camera and was like, "There's gonna be no winners if there's war." But it's so scary. Now that he's officially declared war, the thing is about wars is like everybody. There's all these alliances and all this other shit. So like now that Ukraine is involved, Russia's involved. That means the U.S. is involved. Now Canada's involved. Um, China might be involved. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody has these alliances. And it's just gonna get real crazy, like real crazy. I can't believe it actually happened though, cause like that's not the first time the niggas bluff too. Like he bluffs a lot. Like he'll do this whole. Like, I think it's part of it's part of politics. Yeah, he already sent troops. Canada's Sanction sending troops. troops. Canada's sending troops. Yeah, they did. Sanction troops to Ukraine. You know, nigga, we're allies with Ukraine, but we have to. Yeah, I know. Allies with the U.S. You back the U.S. We don't worry. We have Justin Trudeau. Ugh, Another real nigga. Ass nigga. Guy, real nigga. Is that real nigga? He's, he's holding it down. <laughs> What oh, you think Jagmeet Singh would be doing better? He'd be preaching love I think and they peace. need a female. Yeah, there wasn't even a female. The only female in the running was for the Green Party, and they're cracked out. I think they need a black woman. To she run was this a black country. woman. I think they need a black woman to run this country. She was a black woman and she lost miserably. But you, you, okay, think about it. You think these white people are ever going to ever see, in their child, not, like, let a black say, woman run this let's country? Let's not say just, let's not, well, let's just, Kamala Harris is next in line to run an even bigger country. Yeah, she's let's crazy. not say a black she's woman. She's horrible, first of all. Look, let's let's talk about black, that. A capable. capable. That's the big word. She was a capable and she got 0.4% of the vote. So she wasn't capable? No, she's just on a trash party. Nobody cares about the Green Party. See, She's not capable. You have to, in order to be capable, you need to actually do it. Okay. Yeah. If, I if I say lift 100 kg and you don't lift it, whether or not you had bad shoes that day, whether or not your shoulder was paining you, whether or not you just had sex, no, you weren't no capable. Huh? No food analogy today? No, bro. It's <laughs> gym analogy, man. <laughs> bro. If you're not able to make rice, if I tell you to make rice. <laughs> Good. I don't think you guys but understand you how scared I am. Nigga, it's crazy, bro. I Trust. think everything will be okay. But it's just, just like, let me tell you, they're bombing Ottawa first because that's where <laughs> that's oh where Justin gosh. Trudeau lives. That's where the MP house is, all that stuff. Then it's Toronto. Then it's Vancouver, Montreal. Do oh, you, nobody do, cares do about you know, Manitoba. Do, do you know what? Do you know what nuclear bombs do? Do you know <laughs> why this problem? <laughs> yeah. do, do you know why what this it, was a big issue? Why this like? Because Russia or Putin fighting for one country is one thing. Another thing why a lot of nations need to get involved quickly and why they got involved quickly was because... the minute the missiles were launched, they were involved. No, before that, the reason why UN and all the peacekeepers have to get involved quickly is because it's the ne- the only thing that can happen is a nuclear... War. Do you get what I'm saying? Really? And nuclear means, yo, Hiroshima is the reason why a lot of these peace nations are around, or these peace groups yeah, are around. Yes, literally. Cause of dev- so it's not just about, oh, I'll just bomb one city. Bro, yeah. a nuclear bomb is crazy. Yeah. Because if he's, if, if he's just throwing these small ones and it's warning signs, I hope you know Russia has one of the biggest atomic bombs. Yeah, they do. So if you piss them yeah, off even US, more, Russia, China. If you piss them off even more, North Korea. That's the next thing. Yeah. So, bro, that's yo. I am scared. Like when I say I'm terrified, I've lost my appetite for the next week, bro. Mm. Yeah. He's like, mm. I don't think it's gonna get that far. What do you think is gonna happen? Honestly. <laughs> We're all gonna die. What do you kidding. think is gonna happen? <laughs> Honestly, man, I don't even think this is gonna get that deep. I think it's just a little scare tactic, and then something will happen. But I don't think it's gonna get to the point where there's a nuclear there's war. Be a cold war, like no, yeah. I now, 100% agree. I have a question. Yeah. Right, because this question was posed to me yesterday. Let's put it into a box now, right? Because cheating. Obviously, yeah, nobody likes to be cheated on, all that. You um, don't know that. <laughs> Who the fuck? Okay, sorry. Okay. Sorry, Some people want, sorry, like, to be Somebody like to be cheated on, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> but um, from my experience, I would say no, right? And from what I've seen, no. Um, 
now let's put it into a box. Let's say you're married for 10 years, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have kids with this person. Yeah. Um, and your significant other steps out on you then. 